Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe and apply Newton's third law of motion. Now we've already seen Newton's first and second laws of motion. Hopefully you're getting the idea that they're fairly straightforward. I'm showing you Newton's third law of motion here. Whenever two objects interact, the forces they exert on each other are equal and opposite. Now I'd strongly recommend that you learn this law exactly as I've stated it. If this comes up in the exam, it's quite likely that you'll have to state the law. I should point out that Newton's third law can seem a bit tricky, but I'd advise you not to get bogged down by it. We're going to take a look at some examples. This shows you a man in a canoe. As you can see, the man is using the paddle to push on the water. At the same time, the water pushes back on the paddle. This force is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. When this skateboarder jumps off a skateboard, they apply a push force onto the skateboard. This causes the skateboard to move to the right. At the same time, the skateboard pushes back on the skateboarder. Again, this force is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. And this causes the skateboarder to move to the left. When a rocket fires, the chemical reaction produces a downward push force on the hot exhaust gases. The hot exhaust gases exert an equal force on the rocket, but acting in the opposite direction, in other words, upwards. When a car is driving, the wheel exerts a force in the reverse direction on the road. At the same time, the road exerts a force in the forward direction on the wheel. These two forces are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on Newton's third law in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.